Hello and welcome to Terry's Kitchen where we talk food, faith, and family. So today we are going to be making a tapas from our trip to Spain that we had in 2018. So before we get started, uh, let me read today, today's devotion. And it's out of Jesus Calling. If you learn to trust me, really trust me with your whole being, then nothing can separate you from my peace. Everything you endure can be good use by allowing it to train you in trusting me. This is how you fall the works of evil, growing in grace through the very adversity that was meant to harm you. Joseph was a prime example of this divine reversal, declaring to his brothers, You meant evil against me, but God meant it for good. Do not fear what this day or any day may bring your way, Concentrate on trusting me and on doing what needs to be done. Relax in my sovereignty, remembering that I go before you as well as with you into each day. Fear no evil, for I can bring good out of every situ situation you will in ever encounter. So that is so true. So I'm going to wash my hands, and Ron is going to tell you about the ham uh, that we have in Spain and how we kind of uh, change that to uh, using some country ham. So I'm going to wash my hands as Ron uh, tells you a little bit about the Iberian ham. Well, the Spaniards have a love affair with ham, period, and they have over 300 varieties, and you can go around to different stores and you'll see all these different things. Uh, we enjoyed uh, going to the, when we were in Madrid and Valencia, there were just uh, some tapas bars. Uh, tapas just means a light eat of some sort. Uh, they do a little bit of everything. But the ham especially, when we came home, we don't have all that variety. I mean, we have regular ham and then uh, uh, the thing that we use the most probably is the country ham. I really like the taste of it with the bread. It's an easy thing to make. So, let's get started with that. And as I said, um, we went to Madrid and uh, Valencia, and I always called it Valencia, but we actually went um, with a cooking show to a cooking um, event where we made paella and in Valencia, and the, the lady said, you say it, Valencia. So, but it was just a great experience. And I want to thank Noel and Ken. Um, they asked us if they, uh, we wanted to join them. I uh, was very scared about um, never being overseas. And, but I, it was just a wonderful two weeks. And so many things uh, were opened up to us, uh, new things. And, and we brought some of this back. We, and um, if you've seen some of our videos where we've sat at our kitchen table, Overhead is, is some paintings that we bought in Retiro Park. So, so let's get started. And, and throughout the uh, today's um, cooking, I'll tell you a little bit about our trip. So, first of all, so what I have here is I have um, I just cut off um, a piece of French bread, and I'm just going to cut it in half. Now, this is not how they do it, but it tasted very similar when we got uh, got back home and we wanted a little bit of that that Spain back. So I'm going to cut this in half so you can see all those nice um, um, holes and airy holes um, for the French bread. So we're going to put some olive oil in that so that will be delicious. So I'm going to put these in the toaster and just toast them just a little bit. So while we were there, uh, we got to celebrate Noel's birthday, uh, which is actually on May 7th. So when the memories started coming up on Facebook, and it was like, let's put this on video and just kind of share our wonderful experience. So as I said, I had never been overseas, so I wasn't sure what to expect. Soon as we got into Madrid, oh my, the walking, just looking around, the architecture, the people, going to Retiro Park and just Ron and I uh, sat there uh, one afternoon and just people watched. And they were flamingo dancers, I think. Am I saying that right? Yes. Ron shaking his head <laughs> right. 
and just the colors, the people, and the artwork that we bought in Retiro Park from this gentleman. Oh, how exciting, and, and bringing those bright colors, and every time we look at those pictures, it, it just brings us back to our trip and the wonderful memories that we had. So we stayed at a, a great apartment and walked uh, for breakfast, and actually what we're fixing uh, this uh, today, the tapas, we had um, the first morning we got there. So um, Noel and Ron and I took a walk into a little cafe and had this, and it was like, boy, we can do this at home. So um, so let me get my the, the bread out of the toaster, and we'll start assembling. Ron and I will have this for um, uh, breakfast, we'll have it for a light lunch, but it is so good. And so you don't need to toast the bread uh, really dark, it's just giving it a little crunch and a little texture. So I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil, just drizzle that into those wonderful nooks and crannies. And then any type of hummus that you want to use. This happens to be everything hummus, so it's got a lot of flavor. And so you're just going to spread that over your bread in the olive oil. You can make that as thick as you want or as thin as you want. We had uh, even done a variety. Um, they did not do that in Spain. But we actually added some other uh, flavorings. We, we put a tomato. Um, if I have a, one of those good heirloom tomatoes, I'll put those on. But today we just wanted to show you what um, they did when we were in Spain. And, and as Ron said, the Iberian ham and going into the market. And here is this leg shank, I'm not sure, just hanging. And I took a lot of pictures because I know my uncles, they, you know, raised on a farm and they do a lot of um, butchering. And so it was great to show them this is how they, they do their ham. And so, and it was delicious. So here I have some country ham. We like to get that sliced very thin. Just put that over top. And again, you don't you don't have if you don't want a lot of country ham, you can just put a thin slice to it. And that's all there is to it. And so, but if you consider trying this, the our, our Spain trip, and like I said, Ken and Noel, I just really it, we just really want to thank them and appreciate them inviting us and bringing that new experience for us. Uh, I wanted to give a shout out to James Blick and his wife Yoli mm -hmm. who are in Spain and they do a show called, uh, well, <laughs> drawing just... a blank on the show. <laughs> anyway, I'll put it down below. They are so funny together. He's from New Zealand and she's from uh, Spain, not mm -hmm. right in Madrid, but they do tours and they actually do tapas tours as well, but they on their website you can see they go all over Spain so big shout out to them and we Noel took us to this offbeat little restaurant it was delicious uh, my neck started acting up so I went outside and lo and behold he walks out one door and goes into another and then he walks back out again I said are you James Blick and he said yes so we actually got to meet him while we were there yes so just great memories and we're going to share some of our pictures and it was just a wonderful experience. So I hope that you would consider making this and as you, if you do and you uh, are eating it, just think of Spain. And thank you so much for watching our videos. If you like the videos, if you could like, share and subscribe, we would appreciate it and blessings.